If you're watching this video, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that lithium ion batteries have increased in their energy density significantly over the past 20 years. But not many of you would be aware of just how much they've actually increased. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and supporting this channel. It's great to have you. We have made more than 1,360 videos over the last 11 months since we started. The US Department of Energy says that the volumetric energy density of lithium ion batteries increased by eight, more than eight times between 2008 and 2020. That's only 12 years. And there's been some massive increases from 2020 to 2022. Volumetric energy density refers to the amount of energy that can be contained within a given volume. Increasing the volumetric energy density of batteries allows electric vehicles to travel further without increasing the size or the weight of the battery pack. It's extremely important. Eventually, we're going to see 1,000 kilometer or 600 mile range EVs be commonplace, I would say by 2030, thanks to further increases in volumetric energy density. Conversely, this can allow an EV to travel the same distance with a smaller battery pack, thus saving space, weight, manufacturing costs, and of course, cost to the end consumer. Given the enormous benefit of increasing the energy density of batteries for EVs and many other products such as mobile phones and laptops, there has been huge investment into battery development by the Department of Energy and by many companies that has helped yield some impressive gains over that 12 year period from 2008 to 2020. In 2008, lithium iron batteries had a volumetric energy density of 55 watt hours per liter. By 2020, that had increased to 450 watt hours per liter. By 2030, we're likely to see that number triple. Now these numbers are at the pack level, not at the cell level. So one of the key reasons why we've been able to see such incredible advancements in volumetric energy density is because batteries are packed more closely together. Thermal management systems can more easily keep the heating keep the batteries from getting too hot or too cold, and that's enabled battery packs to become more compact. But new innovations like Tesla's 4680 structural packs, similar designs coming out from Chinese electric vehicle, vehicle companies, which are also using structural battery packs, helps to further eliminate more mass, making energy density even higher. In addition to that, the energy density of various chemistries has increased massively between 2020 and 2022. And it will continue to increase because, why? A lot more money, far, far, far more money is being invested now into lithium battery technology than what was between 2008 and 2020. And that has led to some incredible battery technologies being discovered. Now the fascinating question is, just how far can this all go? What is the theoretical limit to volumetric energy density? Currently, the world's largest battery company in the world, CATL, actually has NCM811 batteries with an energy volumetric density of 700 watts per liter or 300 watts per kilo. Some other companies now claim to have 400 plus watts per kilo but this hasn't been independently verified. Now, people claim that the Tesla's 4680 battery breaches the 400 watt per kilo mark, and they also breached the 1,150 watt per liter mark, which is a significant jump from this 450 watt hour per liter mark shown on the graph in 2020. Now, this graph comes from the US Department of Energy, and it's just a generalization if you want to get a specific use case and compare it and say, this is wrong, well, I'm sure you could do that until the cows come home. But this is just an average across different 
sectors and different products. And the really exciting thing about all of this is the reality that battery costs continue to come down, even if we're not aware of it. That is actually true, even despite increase in cost of lithium. Because of these improved chemistries, because of the energy density improvements, the overall cost per kilowatt hour of batteries has come down by about 80% over the past decade. That is something to get very, very excited about. What does that mean for our future? What does that mean for where our global electricity industry will be by 2040? Well, by 2040, the majority of electricity source worldwide will come through solar panels, wind power, and battery storage. Why? Because of declining costs of batteries and the declining costs of wind and solar, it will mean that fossil fuel powered power plants, such as coal and gas power plants, will no longer be even remotely competitive with renewable energy and battery storage. This, of course, will start to help the planet to reduce the cooling that we're seeing right now through global warming. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.